Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Stuart McQuarrie, the chaplain to the University of Glasgow and to Glasgow Warriors rugby team and formerly chaplain to 2014 Commonwealth Games. Presiding officer, I would like to thank you and the former First Minister, Mr Salmond, for inviting me to deliver this reflection. The invitation was extended last summer when the then First Minister visited the Commonwealth Games Village and its religion and belief centre at the very heart of the village. And there, people from all faiths and those of none found a place where they could reflect on their successes, their disappointments, their achievements, their challenges. We use the interfaith model we have at Glasgow University chaplaincy where what matters is inclusivity, not mere respect or tolerance, but an act of appreciation of the wonderfully diverse range of human beings who contribute to our community. And so for the first time, the Commonwealth Games had a secular humanist chaplain alongside Buddhist, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Sikh and Hindu chaplains. Prior to the start of the Games, we held a service in the University Chapel with Interfaith Scotland, bringing together the people of Glasgow with those who were here for the Games as visitors. And each faith or belief community presented a reflection that was a reading, a song, music. Our Muslim chaplain, Shokit Aksi, brought a recitation from the Holy Quran, in which he chanted in that wonderful way that I find evocative of Highland churches when you sing the Psalms in Gaelic. And Shokit was followed by Rabbi Rubin, an Orthodox Jewish rabbi. As they passed each other, they paused and shook hands. And this was at a time when the conflict in Gaza had escalated. And in many ways, that handshake represented a key moment in the friendliness, the warmth of Glasgow's Commonwealth Games. Earlier this summer, our nation sadly lost Charles Kennedy, former rector of the university and notable politician. One distinctive aspect Charles brought to public life was his humanity and his concern for others expressed in an ethos of public service. In the university, we intend, perhaps with your help, to commemorate Charles's life with a fitting and lasting tribute. Shortly, you, as members of the Scottish Parliament, begin your parliamentary programme and will start campaigning for re-election of yourself and your party. You offer your political programme and yourselves, not only as candidates, but as human beings. And in doing so, you have an opportunity to demonstrate a commitment to public service which is able to see and to value each person as a human being. And through this parliament and its work, able to overcome that which divides our communities, able to appreciate what each person can bring to a common life together, able to offer a warm, welcoming handshake, not for what people are or whether they might or might not vote for you, but for who they are. Thank you. The next item.